When people hear, we are back, they think Petito's gang. And many quickly think Washington and think of such television programs that are fairly similar in their approach, like McLaughlin and company, like Capital Gang. But the truth is that Petito's gang is really a reality show that came, well, to television in a different kind of way. Why is it a reality show? Back in the early 80s, when I first returned from graduate studies in America, about 1982, um, I was fortunate to live in a nice bungalow in Surulere on Eric Moklos. And it became a kind of melting pot, a kind of stop place for many of the bright, upwardly mobile, young intellectual types in Lagos. Um, and so on their way back from work, many would just drive into my home, toss their jackets to one corner, and in our short sleeves, we'll all begin to debate Nigeria over a beer, over a glass of red wine. What can we do about Nigeria? Years later, that became Patito's gang. And we are. Women hold vital positions in our society. And on today's show, we explore the limitation that the woman faces as we discuss the economic way out for women. This is Patito's Gap. Well, we are celebrating women uh, you know, this time around. And um, we are looking at uh, how we can women be more empowered. I know the United Nations 2017 said that the uh, theme for the year is uh, be bold for change. So we are looking at moving contribution to the economy, not just populating the world with the human beings and also uh, they are contributing a lot to the GDP of every nation uh, in China, in Japan, in the workplace. Uh, the International Trade Center uh, once said that in, by 2050 that 80% of the world uh, workforce will be in the services and women dominate services. That means that men are in trouble. So we may find it difficult to you get jobs. You are not jobs, in trouble. You, you know? are not in trouble. You just have more women who are enlightened, more yeah. women who are taking up, yeah. you know, waking up to the challenges that society is really facing. So and, and, and as a teacher, at each class I teach in the university, for instance, you find more women in the classroom than, you know, men. That shows that Men are in trouble. They still need to reinvent themselves. Women are all over the place. <laughs> uh, uh, Mona Lisa, you're doing a great job in your program, employing people and all that. Okay? So, in all of this, can't we, what can we say that women's contribution has been in the economy? A lot. A lot. Women are doing a lot of, of things. Even with the stringent conditions that we find ourselves in, we struggle even in the home front, we're struggling. But the woman acquires more knowledge because of, Nigeria is a patri patriarchal uh, country as it is. The men are always given a better chance than the women. Good women. So the only thing we have to we use to empower ourselves is to acquire more knowledge, acquire more, more education, skills, acquire. Uh, you know, sit down in classes where men are probably like two or three heads, and then the women are like thirty-four seated to you know to you know help ourselves and gain that confidence that can help us you know you know um, work in the male dominated uh, environment as it is well is it really male dominated i don't know Rashid, yes it is in nigeria yes, yes. i want to, um, i mean yes it is we, internally we have certain challenges yes. culture education religion i put the woman behind most societies prefer to sit behind every successful man as a woman, and there will be applause for that. But we point out a very highly successful woman, there's some negative thinking that behind yeah, every successful is. man, that's a, a woman that's a wasted man. That mindset has to alter, and I think probably that is responsible for the new image we are seeing women rising up in various areas of career. Uh, we have to close our eyes to some cultural challenges. 
Yes. But, but whatever oh. gift a man has, a woman has it. Exactly. It should exactly. Be exactly my it should point. Should encourage to explore that possibility. Did you did you did you see the video that went viral in Poland? Did you see that? No, I didn't. I didn't. I okay, that video in to make it short, they are in a parliament deliberating on women's rights, and then the man gets you know stands up and says that uh, women are weak, women are small, women should not be given any salary raise. They should not be giving his race more or better than the man. And then the other woman gets up and says, yeah, you are saying what you're saying because we, you are upset that we are sitting down here in the parliament as a woman. Challenging your rights, challenging your rights. <laughs> so, you know, basically what I'm saying, this is a developed country. country yeah. The white man still sees the woman not competent enough to do anything. A white man that's meant to be, I mean, more uh, uh, open to liberation, mm -hmm. to women's, you know, liberation and stuff like that. So, it's, it can, so how much more we the blacks? How much more Nigerian men? <laughs> they would never let us. They would never let us. But, but the good news is, Manolisa, we've got a crop of young women who have reinvented themselves, who are doing well, who do not... Uh, 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 who have gone beyond the limitations that society has placed on them. I agree with you, but do you also realize that even with all this our empowerment stuff going on, we are still struggling at the back, at the yeah, top, but, yeah, but, underneath, everywhere. No, 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 but the right. last administration gave 35% to women. To women. To women. I, I mean, is that good it, enough? It, it, well, it's better than 5%. Is that good enough? It's always a starting point. <laughs> no, but the truth is, the truth is, Nigerian women, in fact, starting from the Nigerian young girl, the Nigerian young girl is more self aware. I mean, she, she, she I mean, I mean, what I mean, about she, the cultural values and the traditional yeah. values. Those things are say, there. Oh, but you know, I mean, well, on, 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 one of, on, on one of the editions on this show with Onyeko, we know, I mean, we had talked about the whole cultural issues. And we're saying that the, no, the, the truth is, the Nigerian girl is more open to actualizing her dream she understands she has seen okay okay my listen the truth is she, she 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 goes on on, on on african magic and sees people like you doing their best i mean i mean expressing Mary, themselves yes. she goes on she sees people like the late dora queen she sees people like uh, um obvious equipment. i mean she, she has models she looks up to things are not as bad as we're trying to make no, it no it's not bad i agree with this uh, uh, sorry. Um, i agree with austin i agree with him Things are not bad. What I'm saying is that the truth still remains that we will still be struggling with liberation, with freedom, with just to, you know, even even in the political no, what, sector. What, 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 what kind of freedom are you asking? No, what freedom? Freedom. Of, I mean, you control the home. You know, he said that the, even though the man is the head, but the woman is the neck. And the head cannot move without the neck. And I know women are doing a great job <laughs> controlling. Good, actually, okay. you're, you're, you're in charge. We should be not in charge in the background. We don't want to be in charge behind. Everybody the has a role. We don't want economic, that. Economically, women yeah. in the in the in, in the U.S., for instance, more women, uh, about thirty-three percent of women, yes, get into true. business. True. True. Now, I, I don't know the figure for Nigeria. How many women are venturing into? Different businesses and all that. They are women. They are women. A so lot of women are. Winbees, Winbees is also, a, you know, association of women businesses and all that. Mm -hmm. The point is that if I were the president, or when I become president, I will make sure that more women. I guess that will be in 2019, right? <laughs> what more women we get into? Not the 35 percent, but it's better for me to work with women. I like working with women. They are better managers. Exactly. They are more loyal. Yes, they, they are. They are more committed. They are. You know, once you win their hearts. Yes. Then you will want. The truth is, once when a woman is determined for a cause, see, um, uh, uh, Africa's biggest blogger, um, um, what's her name? Um, Africa's biggest blo blogger, Linda KG, let said something that, that got me thinking. She said, "There's no force unstoppable as the power of a determined woman." Yes. You know, women, sure. women are better managers. Now, yes. now, now, now. I, I, I get to. I work for a TV station, and at some point, I got to head the newsroom as the assistant head of news. I was more efficient 
the delivery, the output from the, the news at 8 p.m. and all of that, it was more efficient. It wasn't because of, 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 of I mean, I mean, it, it, it was basically because I was very determined to deliver. Yeah. And I think that there's just this thing, there's this resilience in, in, in women, especially women who have reinvented themselves, who are self-conscious, who are self-aware. They really, really, really are more efficient than the men. Even though I'm not trying to make a comparison, but no, the they're, Nigerian they're, woman they're, is a resilient woman the nigerian woman no, is no. strong yes. the nigerian woman is yes. focused when she really wants to be yeah, on, on that note of nigerian woman being strong and committed we'll take a break and uh, return <laughs> an important topic indeed we know that the nigerian woman is strong and enterprising but just what impact do you think that she makes on society? Let's go to the streets to find out more. When the government is saying that way, it will be reduced the number of people that are just driving to get there. In my view, I think women should be empowered educationally. More female children should be allowed to go to school and then acquire skill acquire uh, vocational skills that would enable them to earn a living on their own. Even after being married, they should be able to support their family and pay for their bills without solely depending on the husband, at least lend a helping hand to the husband and the family. For the married ones, and for those that are not married, they don't have to be burdened or dependent on people that maybe uncle, auntie, somewhere, or be in a kind of position that men would exploit them. Women need encouragement, they need empowerment, and they need peace. Without peace, you cannot do anything, and they need rest of mind. Even the, the economy in this country, why it's just going zigzag is because the women, they are not, uh, the women are not encouraged now. They did not take them along. I want the government to provide more jobs, like jobs for the women that are struggling to take care of their children. So at least they could be independent if they have jobs. Well, Mary, you mentioned uh, what uh, the blogger said about most dangerous person is yes. a bad woman. Yes, the yes, the, the, the focused woman. That's what yeah, the focused idea you woman, said. Yes. yes. I mean, a woman, it can be that because uh, even uh, Napoleon Bonaparte also said that two people he feared, not the cannon, not the, the bomb and all that, but the love of a woman and the pen of a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The love of a woman. The love of a woman. <laughs> So you see how powerful women are. Women are yeah. powerful. I am proud to be a woman. Yeah. See, see, the truth is, women can be anything that they want to be. Anything that they want to be. And I always tell my dad. Nobody is stopping you. I always tell my dad, I do not want to ever be a man. I am glad that I am not a man. I mean, yeah. I'm just comfortable being no, a lady. The women are I am loved, so good we, being a lady. I feel so twice. good yeah, being a lady. Means, you have to know that women are loved twice. You're loved by men and you're loved by God. A man is always loved once. <laughs> You know? But, but yeah. women alone. Please, please, you need to answer the question. Um, a woman is a man that is commanded to love the woman. Yeah. The woman, it, it, see, to woman, just be loyal. Yeah, loyal to the man. Only God loves a man. But oh, really love you see, yeah. when, a, when a woman is loved by her man, yeah. she will give you everything. Everything. Yes. She everything. will give you everything. She will, she will, she will lick the your face. Lord. You walk on. Oh my she God. will kiss your feet. Oh my God. Just give her. All she's asking is that. I feel love. like I feel I'm like getting married again. Love, love, <laughs> love. love. Oh my. Love, love it again. Love eh? is everything to the woman. Lisa, you she will go to the world front and take all the bullets for, for you. Mm. For yes. you. Well, I don't know about the women. I mean, I can do it for me. Yeah. I, I can do it for 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 for. for, for <laughs> you know, I mean, it's true. But it's true. I think that it's very real. Serious allowance to debate whether a woman should be lifted up, it should follow naturally. Yes. True. They are all creations True. of God, True. whether you're a man, True. whether you're a woman, if you have exposure to the basic skills, education, what makes you qualified as a leader, 
a man or a woman should have the free will, freedom to rise to the highest level. Mm -hmm. But the moment you introduce the element of takeover, which seems to be the sing song revolutionary women, you yeah. want empowerment, you want to take 40% or 50%, the natural return from a man uh, is to so, protect your let me, just, let me, a minute, let me, just a minute no, to protect your wait. position. Yeah. And because of that, there's a stiff I'm sorry, I'm sorry but I have how many to numbers of women are climbing up. If the state could go ahead and promote good relationship, change some cultural barriers, types of education, some societies don't send women to school, and this there will be a payback for this later in the future mm -hmm. between the male and the female. I, I quickly need offer, to say this, sir. When you say take over same, and offer, all of that, what, what exactly is, is, the, is, is, the, is the male afraid of? No. What exactly is he afraid of? Now, I am not saying to take over, but even if there were to be a takeover, a confident man should not be scared of anything. She worked harder to. I mean, what, what is the man? What is the Nigerian man the, scared of? The power of? you have is each side, both male and female, do their possible best to protect their position. Yes. That is, is a natural yes. tendency. Mm -hmm. As the change is coming, tendency is for you to want to protect that which you have. But even then, when you give woman the authority, the power, and they still hand it back to the man. Exactly. Which, which was yeah, what, yeah, what, 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 what I was saying. Yeah, the natural, it's not all white, it's the, not all women. Yeah, why, the, the natural the woman root. Yeah, the, the, woman the natural woman. order yes. of things. See, yeah. women, I have said it to someone, women are not are not saying let's take over it's not within it, it, it's it, not competition it, see god did not put it in us to lead the man what is god did saying? not I, 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 I need to explain this god did not put it in us to want to take over and want to make you the wife instead of the husband now a, a good woman understands like like you said when you give her all of the power she knows how to give it back to you as the man we are not saying uh, as women in Nigeria or as career women in Nigeria, as women who have reinvented themselves and who, who understand themselves. We are not saying that the men should, you know, uh, uh, jump out and jump to the beat. We are only saying that we are capable. We can do anything. We can, we can become what it is that we dream to become. But you need to accommodate us. You need to, you need to put away the whole village, your village mentality of the woman is supposed to be in the other room or the woman is supposed to be in the but kitchen but or the woman wait, is supposed listen, to be in the farm. This is not even all about Nigerian or African men. It's a global issue. Every man just thinks that if you give the woman a little sniff of power, she takes over. <laughs> she just takes over. Yeah. There are just very few percentage of women, I may not know the, uh, the statistics, who applies wisdom in delivering her role as a woman and as a woman on top. It's usually very difficult. Mm, because, it's usually very, it's because very because difficult. Because women, what, this is a reality. What women, what Had, you're saying is that women, what you have going for you as, as women is that you have more influence. We have more influence. The man can show power. Yes. And yes. Uh, but the influence is greater than power. Yes, it's with the, the woman. Day. Yeah. Okay. So, you find that at the end of the day, you are still in charge. Exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah, the woman is still in charge. Yeah. That's what I am. I, 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 am, I am in the same mm. understanding with you. What I'm, what I'm trying to, I want to strike a balance. What I'm saying is, it should be 60, 40. The man should take their, take their 60. It's fine. And that's because should, we realize they are men. They are and we respect men. their role as God men. You. However, even the little positions that have been given to women, you see, they don't want to override <laughs> the society, override even the president. It's usually very difficult. Yeah. It takes the grace of God for yeah. that woman to remain humble. Yeah. And that's so why the man. men yeah. are still insisting, yeah. keep her away from the top. Yeah. I am telling you, these women will take over. Yeah. They not just only will take over in the political sector, they'll take over even the home and seal themselves. You can't even touch them at night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You can't touch them at night. They'll tell you 10 years that I've been working on the thing. You don't touch me. Let me share this experience. I live in Enugu. Now, the late Professor Doral Queen, the former DG, NAPDAC, and then later Minister for Information, 
there's a story that 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 that, that, that uh, her husband personally had shared with me when I went to interview him. He said that Dora and somebody were having an issue. Now, um, somebody was supposed to supply her stuff, and then um, she and the, the man in an open place started exchanging words. Now, do you know that even in such an open place, the man came out of the car, her husband, and says, Dora, shut up. I mean, shut up and go inside the car. Do you know what, what Professor, Professor, I mean, Nigeria's own Professor Akinyele did? She sealed her lips that minute and hopped into the car. That is, the that is Nigeria's, or oh, that was Nigeria's Dora Akinyele. I mean, at that point, woman. At that point, Dora was very influential. She was known all over the that world. That is a wise woman. Would now, you that was have the woman of the confrontational. No, but the point is, we we've had women who know that they control. They have a lot of influence, and they're still so meek to their husbands. And they have yes. people who yes. who they passed on that legacy to. Now, mm -hmm. I look at myself as somebody who's going to be high up there someday, and I have learned consciously, consciously through reading books, through having good women who are married school me to learn how to honor my man, to learn how to honor my man. First, I started learning by honoring my father, who is the first man. I ever met. Why are the men not talking? No, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, can you highlight that? No, 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 but, but the, 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 point, the, point, right the, point, the point you made is, is, is quite correct. It's only wise women that can do that. You know? And but the, again, the issue of women not having access, not sharing from the estate of the, their father when the father yes, dies. Passes, passes, that is passes, wrong. Passes, that know? is so but wrong. In case in Enugu, you know, brought that to, you know, maybe it, you know, something might change as we move on. Mm -hmm. Culturally, you know, but the woman in Enugu sued family members and then the judge awarded her the blessing that she has a right. That was a precedent. Exactly. Uh, and uh, I believe that. And things are changing. Yeah, things are changing. I should if, be able to own the land. I mean, I mean, I should. Your, I mean, the fact that I'm a female. A woman should be able to I mean, take a loan. I don't know whether you have you've tried taking a loan as a woman from the bank without them. Asking you that your husband, those days, you said your, your husband or well, whatever. Things are changing. Yeah, you that you must sign. Take long most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time. Even to take a bail, tell someone on a bail. You know, you, you, may that guard, that you may guard your employee with this. We not take, we take a, someone on a bail. Really, but you cannot have, take someone on a bail. You can have a, a female judge yeah. and a female uh, president. It means that we've gotten to that point where women are now, but they we're still very, there's still a lot. There's still, yeah. regular, I mean, there's still a lot who. They keep giving me very inferior positions. Yeah, no, well, the political sector. There are yeah, a lot of time, women, people with all their first class education and everything. They still. Time, time will, time will not happen. We're going to get there. We will get there. We will get there. The, 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 point, the point is that things are really changing. Yes. Women yes. are getting into yes. areas that they were not allowed to get into yes. culturally yes. and uh, religiously also. Yes, uh, religiously believe, as well. I we mean, believe, the religious one has yeah. been a problem. I mean, why wouldn't a woman preach? Why? And you say because well, she's a woman, well, she shouldn't preach. We, 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 we have to, we have to, we have to, we have well, to, we have 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 to, we 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 Thank you for being with us today. We hope that you've had an enlightening time right here on Fatito's Gang. Remember that you can keep the conversation going by following us on all our social media platforms that are displayed on the screen right now. If you missed an episode, don't worry about it. Just simply go to the YouTube channel that is at Fatito's Gang TV and you can watch all the recorded episodes right there. Till next time, my name is Fumbi Ogumbanwo. Take care.